Hello viewers, I am Will Keith, and I am back with my first video in quite a while. Uh, the last time you saw me, I made a quick video where I explained that my aunt had fallen and broken her foot, and she was in the hospital. Uh, she still can't step on it. She's in a rehab place now, like a physical rehab center, and she still requires like full-time care. And I'm over there all day trying to like keep her entertained with Netflix and Hulu and the like. And, you know, the thing about my aunt is she's basically my mother. I have a mother, my mother is a good enough person, but my aunt has always been, like, the primary caretaker of me when I was a child. So I very much appreciate her, and I'm just trying to kind of keep her entertained throughout this whole ordeal. But anyway, I've got time to make a video out here, so enough of the sappy shit. What I have here is the Buck 120 General, and I've made a few videos with this in the past, but it is just such a good knife, I feel the need to keep revisiting it. And now, as the name suggests, Buck 120 General, this is a general use knife. And what that means is it's going to be good enough for camping, hunting, combat, survival, like light wood cutting work, like I am hit this thing, it Hang on. I'm trying not to shave away too much of the top here because I still got to put bottles on it. But you'll see that it um, knocks wood off of there well enough. So very light wood cutting. I mean, it doesn't have the weight that a machete or an axe, for example, does. But for light wood cutting work, I mean, it will do the job. The blade isn't going anywhere. Um, it's fully American made. No Chinese shit with this knife. It comes, like, beyond sharp. I have not sharpened this, and the edge on it is just absolutely unbelievable. Like, if knives were anime characters, this would be a Super Saiyan 3. And now, it's not exactly a cheap knife. It costs almost exactly $100. If you get the one that has the black handle instead of the natural wood-looking one, that goes down to $90 for some reason. It's the same knife, same steel. Handle, I'm sure, is built just the same. But just that difference in color brings it down 10 bucks, I guess, because it looks less, I don't know, like rustic, you know. But um, if you want to spend 10 less dollars, you can get the one with the black grip. No difference in the actual knife. I love the way this looks, though. And you can get it on Amazon. I'm going to be putting a link in the video description. But on and all, this is my favorite knife that I have. This was sent to me by my friend Caitlin, who, as most of you know, unfortunately passed away a bit ago. And... That was extremely sad, but I greatly appreciate everything she's done for me, all the different plates she's given me, and she was just a uh, really good person. But this knife is from her, and it is the best knife that I have by miles, honestly. It is just so well made. It's so light, so fast, and just feels so solid. It's just an amazing knife. If out of all of my blades, I could just say, if, if you guys as the viewers could just own one knife, you don't want to collect knives, you just want to have one knife that you can call a legitimately good fucking knife, this is the one. So, I have numerous small bottles here to cut today, and I'm using these small ones because A, there's not enough room on top of this fucked up post for much else, and B, these little guys are actually harder to cut than the big ones. The milk jugs or the gallon water jugs, I mean, it's like you're basically cutting pure oxygen. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing there. These are at least slightly harder plastic, you know? I mean, it's still not any kind of challenge for a knife like this. But, you know, it's what I got for now, so it's what I'm cutting. Yeah, so just gonna get right to it. It's been a long time since I've done any cutting. Hopefully this, I'll still have my shit, or as much shit as I need with a knife like this against a tiny little water bottle. So here we go. Did that get on my phone? No, it looks okay. So that wasn't an excellent cut. I mean, it got it, but I can do a lot better with this blade. I'm gonna try the uh, fancy swingy technique. This this increases your cutting power by like 600%, guys. I mean, like this is like real fucking technique here. What I'm doing, I am I am a complete master of this. Believe me, this is in no way some bullshit I just made up from watching Doug Markide on Virgin Fire. That this is. This is my own talent, guys. Talent. I 
I'm honestly surprised that didn't cut it. What the fuck was that? I am like either really out of practice or maybe this thing is getting dull after everything I've done with it. Let me try again here. As I've said, I am out of practice. Alright. Resident Evil cut now. There we go. There we go. See, the thing is, I know it's not the knife. I know this knife is insanely sharp. It's me. I haven't done this in a while. can't get one that will stay there. That one good one like three cuts ago almost did, but... It cuts them so easy, but it just knocks both ends off. I've got one of those shitty stab vines getting in the bag where he got the bottles. Try not to scratch my hand on it. I hear some kind of like weird squeaking above me. I'm trying to see if it's like a squirrel or some kind of weird bird. I got a couple more. Well. I'm gonna try going across this way. You guys know me, when I'm using a good blade, I can usually reliably get at least one cut where the bottom half stays on here. Maybe it's because there's just not enough room left on the post where it can't even slide a little bit without going off, but I'm just having bad luck today and as I keep saying, I am out of practice. The top half goes flying and the bottom half stays there for like a second. If it had like another inch to kind of slide, I think it would stay on there. Come on, just give me one. Thank you. Yes. Buck one hit twenty. Buck. 120 general it's definitely the favorite knife that I have and as I said earlier if you can only have one knife who would only want one knife who it would be this one I would say it is just really good it's not too expensive like I said it's a hundred bucks it's not cheap but compared to like some of the higher end cold steel or spider co blades which go three four or five even six hundred bucks one hundred dollars for a knife this long like this has a really long blade like I have big meaty claws here and it goes basically all the way to the end of my hand some um, good size blade good steel very solid build extremely light that's one thing I can't say enough about this blade it's so light like usually when you pick up a blade that feels like this it's like a really cheap red tail tang piece of shit but no this is just good steel it's well made it doesn't have like any excess bulk on it it's just solid and it's very light and feels really good. Hi right, guys, so uh, that's just kind of a quick video for now. Just to let you guys know that I'm not running away from the channel. I know I keep vanishing for long periods of time, but my life is not exactly stable. <laughs> but um, I love making these videos. I love what I do. I love my blades. Most of all, I love you guys, my viewers. So. I'm always going to be here, and I'm going to keep making videos. I can't promise how frequent they'll be, especially until things kind of stabilize for me. But uh, as always, thanks for watching, everybody. I've uh, my, my online store is still going, so if you want shirts like this, this is Water's Death, which is the name of my Viking axe that I made that wood burning video with a while ago. A bunch of different 
shirts and hoodies available on my site. So that's uh, fatstarsman.com. And of course, I, whoops, knife almost fell over there. I caught it. And of course, I still have my uh, Patreon going up. And proceeds from the Patreon go towards the production of my videos. Although, complete disclosure, Patreon money is right now going to kind of survive. Because my aunt, she's not working. And we don't have as much money coming in. So, um, just kind of trying to not become homeless at the moment. <laughs> Homelessness is so funny. <laughs> just kidding. But, yeah, Patreon money. If it can, it goes towards the production of my videos, getting new blades, better recording equipment and all that. So, I guess that's about it. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time. Hopefully, it will be a lot sooner than this one was for my last proper video. So, i got to clean this shit up, and I'll see you all around. Thanks for watching. I forgot a pretty important part of this knife, which is the sheath. The sheath, thick, real leather, very solid. This isn't like one of those weird fucking polyester feeling sheaths that you get that the knife is going to just like stab through if you put it in there wrong. It's real thick leather. It's got that, that smell. That kind of smelly smell. That smelly smell that smells smelly. I love that. But, um, really good fucking sheath. So, a lot of people, they like having a good sheath. You got the, uh, the belt loop right there. It doesn't have any kind of, like, weird tactical kind of thing where you can go on, like, a Mahdi strap or whatever. It's just got your ordinary belt loop. But that's the kind of knife this is. You know, this isn't, this isn't, like, any kind of military knife. This is a general use utility knife and this is as good a sheath as you can get real leather it's that's really good shit so now this is the actual end of the video thanks for watching and i'll see you next time